course, in our lives, uh, we all come to places of suffering, places of sickness or pain, whether we are dealing with a physical illness or a mental illness. Inevitably, we live in bodies uh, that will somehow uh, give us difficulties. And the church is indeed there for us in these times. We come to provide pastoral support, to remind people that they are not alone in what they are facing, and indeed that their family should not be bereft, but that God is indeed always with us, and that we are upheld and loved by the one who has created us. In our church, in our tradition, we hold forth with some of the early practices of the church in the blessing of holy oil uh, for the sick, which we then bring to those who are in need of it. And we anoint uh, on the head those who are unwell reminding them that indeed God's healing balm is upon them. We experience and share in prayer together, uh, rejoicing that God's presence is there even in our place of darkness. And even if we are in a place that is very hard, this is still quite uh, the place for uh, a pastor and the, the ill person to be together. It doesn't always have to be happy-dappy or perfect, but rather to be a part of the human journey that we share. So if you or a loved one are going through a difficult time, if you were in the hospital or during a long recovery at home or in a healthcare facility, please don't hesitate to call if you wish to have prayer or if you wish to be anointed with the holy oil. Know that you are not alone, that you can have someone at your side. And indeed, that someone at your side is the reminder that God is always at your side and that angels and saints attend you in your time of peace. If, God forbid, your condition were to worsen, or the condition of a loved one who you know is uh, worsening to the point of being close to death, this brings us to another one of our sacraments, which is the sacrament of extreme unction, as it's sometimes called, or more colloquially, last rites. When the priest comes and again brings the holy oil and anoints the person who is preparing for death, this is a very sacred ceremony. It not only uh, prepares that individual for their journey into the arms of God and to the life to come, but it also could be very, very significant for their family in the process of saying goodbye, in the process of giving that person permission to let go. Uh, this is a sacred rite that goes back again to the beginning of the church, to the very essence of uh, our tradition wherein we gather together and we remember that this person who is in our midst is a loved child of God, that they are here and that they are passing, and that as that door opens between this world and the next, we pray for God's grace to be upon this person making that journey and to be upon those of us who will remain behind. So if that is the place where you or your family find yourself on this day, please do not hesitate to call. And again, if, even if you've not been part of the faith up until this point, we would be happy to provide for you pastoral care and indeed anointing in your time of need. God bless you.